Hey guys, this is Ace Blazer, and I'm doing a Rome Total War commentary video for the uh, Dark Days of Rome tourney hosted by Air of Carthage. And this was my first battle. I had to play very late because uh, I was pretty busy, and I finally got the chance last week to play against Steinblood, who's my opponent. And today I am in command of the Goths. I've got myself four Gothic noble warriors, five chosen swordsmen, two horse archers, and if you saw back there, three. Gothic Raiders, and that is my force. It's a very high quality army, not a lot of troops compared to what I usually bring, but it is very, uh, very hard to beat. They're very skilled. And this is the army of Steinblood. He's got the Franks. These are Franciska Hirbon. They throw axes and they are also very good in melee. These are some horde chosen swordsmen. He's also got five horde hunters, probably some of the best. One of the most cost-effective archer units in the game, long range and cheap. We've got four noble warriors. There they are. No, that's sorry. That's uh, I think that's three noble warriors and his general's unit, which is the paladins. These are the paladins. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna start this battle off by uh, putting out my horse archers. Now, what I usually face against the Franks is. Uh, a lot of Francisca Hirbons, which throw axes. And the thing about axes is that they're armor piercing, they're, and when they hit, they stun, plus the infantry do a war cry. So I've faced a lot of losses from those type of armies that favor uh, Francisca Hirbons, which is why I'm mostly on the defensive today. And. Yeah, so I was pretty afraid, which is why I'm staying in more defensive position. And I'm letting my horse archers hopefully entice them out make him attack. Also, my army is very small, my infantry line, so he can outflank me easily, pretty sure. And he's got a lot of archers. I think it's like five archers, whereas I've got three. So if he attacks me, it may be folly for me to attack him, because I've got less archers. So I'll just uh, do as much damage as I can with these horse archers. And horse archery is a very big part of barbarian invasion. The thing is, is that no one likes to use horse archers because they, everyone says it's uh, dishonorable and you know annoying, blah blah blah, which is understandable. Because whenever I use the Huns, I have like I don't know eight horse archers, but horse archers. I mean, uh, the Huns were banned in this game, this tourney, so didn't want to bring them. In any case, it's it's kind of yeah, it is pretty annoying. I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Steinblood is a uh, very uh, he's uh, hasn't played Barbarian Invasion a lot. That's what he said. And I've played a, a few games with uh, you know Angelos, Air, that kind of stuff for practice and some FFAs. So unfortunately, I know my army a bit better, which gives me a small advantage. But hey, just we're just here to have fun. Alright, so he's moving his army way off there, and he's got his wing of cavalry over there. Maybe he's trying to make me forget about it, but I'm not going to forget about it. I'm going to pelt it with horse archers. And I'm pretty sure that my numerical superiority on that wing will be able to overwhelm his cavalry force there. And also, I, I have a feeling that my cavalry are better. We shall test that out right now. So they charge, and he has the heal advantage. Now, I've got horse archers pelting him from the back, and that's enough to make him rout. I think it's because my cavalry is better than his, and yeah, there they go. So, there goes his left wing, which I guess just kind of surprised him because he didn't know whether his cavalry was better than mine or not. And I've got my gothic raiders firing on his archers. He's got his five firing on mine already. And he's also moving up his infantry line. Now what I'm going to try to do is to attack his Francisca Hirbons or his axe throwers as fast as possible so that they don't, th uh, they don't throw their axes. Because I'm pretty afraid of those axes. Very afraid. They're very, very potent. They're even better than Romans. 
they can take out like P Romans throw Pila, these guys throw axes, and usually I find that the th th axe throwers they win combined with the with the uh, what do you call it war cry. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my own little war cry and charge before he can throw off any axes and get these guys into a melee. Now the infantry fight should be kind of even. He's got Horde Chosen Swordsman, and I believe I have uh, Gothic Chosen Swordsman. I think the stats are about the same. So whoever can uh, outmaneuver here will win. He's got more archers. Okay. Big strike by my cavalry there. And he was unfortunately unable to prevent it, because he doesn't have too much cavalry on that wing anymore. Most of his cavalry's over here. I charge my cavalry down this wing. Should have overwhelmed this force, but he's taking the time to attack my infantry line. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! So I've overwhelmed him on that wing. His general's going back and forth, charging into my Your line. Your general is in his grave. It would have been better to send the enemy to their ancestors. Now, for some reason, my general, you know, he dies and stuff, but then my unit of cavalry died you know, from routes for no apparent reason. So this side is gone, but I'm winning pretty easily. I still have a lot of cavalry. So I guess the game was, uh, he said that, you know, it was basically over when he lost his cavalry way out there. So unfortunately, those two units were lost pretty fast for him. So... The numerical superiority in cavalry was more than enough to uh, tip the battle in my favor. What he probably could have done was uh, shoot me to death with all his archers, but instead he made moves to attack my line, and... I decided to attack first. He could have hung back and maybe shot me to death first. Who knows? Alright, the battle's basically over, and all that's left is his general. He's paladins here. But I think he admits defeat right about now. This is a great victory! Yeah, there the you cries go. of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Alright, clear victory. That was 1,006 kills for me, and 493 kills for Standblood. Very good game to Standblood. Uh, gonna have to come up with more videos later, so uh, see you around.